Assalamu alaikum and peace be unto you. I'm Sister Latasha Muhammad. And in this video, I am going to share with you the experience that I had with one of Allah's baby wheels. It was an experience that happened in broad daylight and um, it's something that I will never forget. I haven't shared this with many people at all. I could probably, yeah, like not less than 10 people since it happened. Um, just because it's something extraordinary, extraordinary, and a lot of people are not really on the, the level to um, accept me telling them what happened. Um, most people would look at me and laugh or think that I'm crazy or on drugs or something. So, you know, I just kept it to myself. But I feel like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has already told us about his experience and his vision with, uh, with the wheel when he was in Mexico. And, um, and he's told us um, the experience a couple of times. And so, you know, just with where the world is headed and I just feel like it's the right time to let the whole world know that the so-called UFOs, unidentified flying objects, are not UFOs. They're not unidentified. They are very identified. They are created by man. They were created in Japan. The finest brains and minds and scientists created it. And they're very real. Uh, the United States government will never ever be able to overpower them. And they were actually created for the destruction of America. But I'm not going to go into all that right now. I don't even know why I went in that direction. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Allah wanted me to say that. But I'm going to get into the experience. So, it was... It was a couple of years. It happened a couple of years after I became a registered Muslim. I keep saying registered Muslim. A registered member in the Nation of Islam. And I was living in my very first apartment, and a sister was living with me at the time. And I remember in that time period that I had been asking Allah, I had been praying to Him, Oh Allah, reveal one of the wills to me. Reveal one of the wills to me. Like, I need you to, to prove this to me. I need to see them. I need to know. I got to know. And so, yeah. In the Holy Quran, in Surah 60, no, Surah 40, verse 60, Allah says, pray to me, I will answer you. So I remember in that time period, I was, I was praying to Allah. I was just praying to Allah, and it was such a passion. Like, I needed to know. It intrigued me so much. Like, I needed it. And I lived in the hood at the time. I lived in, like, what's considered the hood. So it was one of the projects where there's connected buildings like a square and then everybody shares a patch of grass in the backyard. <laughs> so I was I was out on the back at night for some reason I don't know why. I wasn't I don't I wasn't sitting out outside or doing doing anything. I just I don't know. I stepped outside and I looked up in the sky. And I always would look up in the sky, but this particular night, I saw twinkling. It was different than a star because it was in colors. So I looked up, and it was it was far it was far it far in the sky. It looked like a far star, but it was something was different about it. So I kept staring at it, and I'm like, you know, I'm about my my back step outside. I kept staring at it, and I was just like staring at it, and the lights that I saw flashing. Let me see, I remember they were red, white, and green. That's what I saw. They were just twinkling. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. But what was different about it, how I knew it was not a star, is that it was gliding. 
real slow like less than slow motion it was gliding it was like it was just gliding like not even this fast it was gliding so slow that it, it almost seemed like it was not even moving you would only be able to notice or be aware that it was moving if you were paying attention to it it was moving so slow and that's how I knew it wasn't nobody's satellite it wasn't something else I, I just knew it wasn't a plane because because those things don't move that slow in the sky and it, it was moving that slow and it drew me in like I, it drew me in I started following it like walking through my neighborhood at night in the middle of the night like literally I followed it all night long I followed it and I was just doing this for hours until the daylight came <laughs> I was so like I know that's a will and I was I was talking to it the whole time I just kept I was just saying like Allah Wakba Allah Akbar that means Allah is the greatest and I was talking to it I was saying like how are you doing and all praises due to Allah Alhamdulillah thank you and I was like just having a conversation there are human beings like me supreme beings who operate these wills again they're the finest brains the finest minds and they are human gods you could take it or let it alone like it doesn't it doesn't bother me you know where the people uh, you know make jokes out of this or not because there's nobody on this planet who can tell me those wills and the mother plane don't exist see you can't you can't debate or argue with experience so that's why I'm confident I'm I'm confident so I just was following it and still the same lights were twinkling and then there were moments where it would do this like it would change it would just move up and down it didn't change direction it didn't change direction although it could but it was just gliding and then there's some times where it would come down or move like I would see it move so I'm following it all night y'all I just was like I don't know I was just so attracted to it and I followed it until the daylight came in until morning time came in and 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 I couldn't see the lights anymore I couldn't see it anymore so once I couldn't see it anymore I turned around and I walked back home so I right when I was walking back home I'm going up you know my one step I think it was like two steps to my door I'm walking back and in that moment like I noticed the rest of the sky was blue but above the patch of grass in the backyard it was it was a dark cloud <laughs> it was a dark cloud above the patch of grass in my backyard I noticed that so right as I'm going into my back home mind you it's morning time it's like 6 7 a.m. it's light outside I'm going up I'm going up my step and something something in me it was not an audible voice something in me was like turn around and look up as soon as I turned around and looked up a beam of light came shooting down there's a sidewalk so there's like my two steps that go to my door and then in front there's like a sidewalk so I turn around I look up a beam of light flashes down on the sidewalk it flashes down on the sidewalk and and it goes across across me like across it goes flash bam but the this the when it goes it goes flash and then bam and then it made three rings neon they were neon and it was all the same color so turn around look up a flash of light flashes across the sidewalk and what flashes across the sidewalk are three rings that are connected like a chain so it, it was fast it happened really fast so it was like BAM BAM across the sidewalk I look up and then the baby wheel came and went zoo, right through the cloud right in front of my face so it went flash zoo, and I look up poof, it came it came right through the cloud right in front of my face in broad daylight nobody else was out nobody else could have even seen it 
So when it happened, it wasn't like way in the sky. It was right above my patch of grass. And I know that it was Allah answering my prayer. And it was so fast. Like it came through so fast. Like not even a second. Like the whole experience happened so fast. It happened fast enough for me to see the wheel. And it was a, it looked like a shiny metallic black. It wasn't charcoal. Wait, it wasn't bronze or all the way black. It was to me almost, and it wasn't gray. It was like a, a shiny black metallic. That's what I saw on it. Um, and it wasn't the entire wheel. It wasn't even a fourth of it that came through the cloud. It was probably, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I can't give you like how much of it came through, <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't the whole thing and it wasn't even a quarter, but it was a portion of it came swooping through the crowd, came swooping through the clouds right in front of me enough for me to see what it looked like. And, um, yeah, the beam of light. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> um, the three rings that were connected. I don't know what that was about either. Um, and then after it happened, I just stood there again in awe. I stood there like, did that just happen? Did I, did I just see one of the wheels in broad daylight? Oh my God. Allah Akbar. For reals, you guys, I'm telling you, can't nobody tell me nothing. No, nothing. I don't care who a scientist, I don't care what your title is or how much education or knowledge you have. You cannot convince me that they don't exist because I've seen them. And I've seen them more than once. That was my only broad daylight in front of my face experience, but I've seen them after that. I've, I've seen them in the sky. Um, I've, I had one experience where it was pretty close again, but it was at night and it did look like a bright star. And that experience was, um, I had a roommate at the time again. This was just like maybe three years ago. One, two, yeah, about three years ago. My friend, she, her stomach was hurting her real bad and her, we found out we took her to the ER. It was like in the wee hours of the morning, right? It was like in between two and 5 a.m. And so we took her to the ER and you know how they take forever. So I went out to the car to like take a nap. And it, at this time it was like four o'clock in the morning. It was like, I would say in between 3.30 and 4.30. So I'm in the car at the ER at the hospital and I get out to go back in to check on her. And, um, and I look up and sitting right above the hospital is a bright, bright thing. It was bright, a bright thing. And I was like, you could just tell, like you could just tell it's not a star. It wasn't way out in the sky. It was just this bright thing sitting above the hospital. So I'm like all sleepy and stuff. And I'm like, that's a wheel. That's one of the baby wheels. And so I look down. I think I like dropped my keys or something. And I and when I bent down to pick them up and I looked back up and it was gone. <laughs> and that's how I knew. Like the, ba the, the wheels, they can move at the flash of light. Like the speed nothing that is made by the Caucasian can move at that speed it can go up down left right diagonal it can go anywhere it wants to in this atmosphere and look I just know like Allah is God who came in the person of Master Fadak Muhammad and I don't care who believes it or who doesn't believe it or who laughs at me or does it you know I'm confident and who I am as a Muslim in the nation of Islam, I know that the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad are right and exact. So I just, I feel blessed, so blessed to be an MGT. And I feel so blessed by Allah that he has revealed and showed, shown me certain things. And I just pray that he continues to keep guiding me and allowing me to assist in this mission of the resurrection of our brothers and sisters in America. So you guys, this video, it went a little beyond what I wanted it to be, but you know, I just let Allah speak through me. And I thank you so much for listening. And um, yeah, I hope that everyone has a really 
blessed day and um, I hope you're all taking care of yourselves and uh, take care. Okay? Assalamu alaikum and peace be unto you.